Hi, I'm Anthony Newton, and uh, the, I should say how I got at this position of my life uh, was that I actually hit an all-time low. <laughs> um, I was homeless, and I and I had made the decision when my family wasn't there for me that uh, when I say family, I mean my mother or my sister they just were not able to work with me as a young man growing up and I was homeless I was homeless so I said if I'm gonna be homeless then I'm gonna come to New York City and pursue my dreams which is to become a professional artist in New York City represented by a gallery and then move on to a bigger gallery and just keep going and going until I see how far I can go and um, that was always a very serious dream of mine. And lo and behold, I'm in a gallery, my work's on the wall, and people are seeing it from Chelsea to 57th Street. You know, people from Soho um, are viewing my work that I never thought would ever, ever happen. You know, and it, and it did, it happened. And um, that just goes to show you that if you get tired of being if you get sick and tired of being sick and tired and you put your mind to it and you do everything you have to do to make it, um, you will. Uh, when I was at my all-time low being homeless in the streets of New York City, um, it was a horrendous thing. It was uh, probably, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Um, it was, you could never sleep. Um, you can never uh, take a moment to just relax because you're always on guard. Um, I slept in some of the worst places you can imagine. I slept in uh, rooftops, uh, park benches, and I swear to God, the only thing that protected me was the God I believe in. And, um, and plus, I had a dream. I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to be a professional artist in New York City, no matter what. I said, if I was going to die, I'd rather die trying to pursue my dreams than if, any, if anything. Tell me, how did you get from the street to here? Uh, what happened actually was that... Uh, I, I got from the street. I got from ready, the street. Ready, ready, and go. I got from the street um, to a major gallery in my own apartment through a program called Fountain House. Um, I'd been in a hospital several times. I'd already, I'd already lost several jobs that I just couldn't hold on to because of my mental illness. And uh, a young lady I was seeing suggested that I go to Fountain House. Why don't you let them help you out? And this was before they even had a gallery. So I had been painting all my life and not even knowing that they were going to build a gallery. And uh, lo and behold, they built a gallery called Fountain Gallery. I got into the program, I was doing well. I, did, I got part-time jobs. I was able to get housing, I was able to get this, I was able to get that. And then they opened up a gallery and I said, oh my God, this is a dream come true. And uh, the lady Esther Montanez, who was uh, at that time living and was the director of the gallery, um, made it possible for me to show my work here. And I made a conscious decision that this is gonna be it. This is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. It's obviously a destiny that's coming true, so there you go.